Hello, this is Ferdinand, a cardboard stacker, and welcome to How to Play Turian Dash, a secret collection card game of the world's most smelliest fruit from Ori Game and designed by Darrow Chow. A game of Durian Dash plays from 2 to 6 players ages 8 and up and plays around 15 minutes. This is a learn in a turn video where you learn as the game plays in a turn or two or as many needed. We divided this video into chapters. If you want to view a specific rule from the game, you can find the list of rules in the description below. Have a question or something nice to say? Leave a comment! And it would be a wonderful and tremendous help if you can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks! The ever popular and just as infamous fruit, the durian. With its spiky exterior, smelly aroma, and surprisingly awesome taste, it's no wonder it's Singapore's most iconic fruit. In this game, you want to collect the variety of durian you like and love, and avoid the one you hate. Let's set up the game. First, shuffle the action cards and deal 3 to each player. Next, shuffle all the Durian cards into a deck. Depending on the number of players in your game, take out a number of cards. 30 in a 2-player game, 20 in a 3-player game, and 10 in a 4-player game. Keep all the cards in a 5- and 6-player game. Then place the Pahang card above and the Johor card below, leaving space between them for 2 rows of cards. Now deal cards face up in two rows. Fill each row with three cards plus the number of players in the game. In this four player game, each row has seven cards. Give each player a preference card. This is how you score for cards you collect. Finally, hand out a player location card and player aid. Setup is complete. You're ready to dash for durians. Before the first round, make sure all players have taken a look at their preference card. This will show you what durian cards you collect give you either a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Some preference cards will have one type rewarding you three thumbs up for loving a single type of durian, and others will have two types that reward only two thumbs up for liking between two types. The durian you don't like will give you a thumbs down, or take away one point. All other durians are just worth one point. Time to play! Let's pick a corner for you to sit in. How about here? The beginning of each turn, you select an action card and rotate your location cards you want to go to. Or really the row you're going to collect cards from. Pahang, the top row, or Johor, the bottom row. Let's pick Pahang and the 21 action card. Set those face down. Once all players have set two cards, everyone flips and reveal. The player who has the lowest card goes first, which is you. First, look at the Pahang row of cards and then refer to your action card. Look for the little delivery truck which is going left and these symbols mean take a card from the row. Start from the right of the row and go left. Take the first two durians and add them in front of you face up. Your turn is over and now it's the player with the next lowest card. The player with the 23 goes and is also taking cards in Pahang. This action has a delivery truck so he picks from the right, going left. They take two durian cards. The next player has 37 and is picking cards in Johor. Their action card has the action which is to give one durian to another player to their left or right. With cards that have multiple actions, always resolve them from top to bottom. This player first takes the next two durians going his way and they must give one durian card to one of his neighbors. They choose the player to their right. The last player resolves their card. 
Unfortunately, the durian they have to pick in this row is a rotten one. Each rotten durian in front of you at the end of the game will score you negative one point. That really stinks. Before going into the next turn, we first had to resupply any rows with three or less durians. Johor has two cards left and Pahang has three cards left. So both rows will be resupplied with cards from the durian card deck. Always fill the row with cards starting in Pahang and from left to right. A special note, if there was ever a row of cards with an equal number or more filled with rotten durian, before going into the new round, remove all the durian cards from the row and refill with new cards from the deck. Lastly, all players draw one action card. Each player should always have three action cards at the beginning of each turn. Alright, next turn! Everyone once again sets their location and action cards. A couple of cards are flippable in which you can choose either collecting durian cards from the left or the right. Just make sure you flip them the right way. Alright, time to reveal! Looks like we're going first again and everyone is going for Johor 2. You're going from the left so you get to pick up the Mao Shan Wang card. Everyone loves this durian so it's always worth 3 points. The next player has 20 so they pick up 2 durian cards from the left. Then for this action they have to drop a durian they have from their direction. Oh and it's the rotten one. Well, the next player playing the 43 has to pick up the next three Durian cards, but they're coming from the right, which leaves the player who played the 44 with the Rotten Durian. Not only that, there are only two cards left in the row and they take as much as there is left. The game continues until the deck of Durian cards have run out. Then it will be time to score. Once the game is over, all players tally up their collected durians. First, reveal your preference card. Add your thumbs up for each durian you like or love. You love Sultan durians and manage to collect 6 of them, scoring 18 thumbs up. You hate black pearl durians and only collected 2, so you get 2 points taken away from you. You succeeded in getting the Mao Shao Wang and score 3 thumbs up. Score 1 point each for your other 7 durians, and you also take away 2 points from 2 rotten durians. After everyone has found their total, compare scores and the one who wins in Durian Dash is the player with the highest score. If there is a tie, then the player with the least amount of rotten cards wins. But if there's still a tie, the player who played the lowest card in the final round is the winner. This concludes the Learn in a Turn video to Durian Dash. If you'd like to know more about this game and others, please visit origame.co. The Cardboard Stacker likes to thank the designer of the game for sponsoring this video. And I'd like to thank you for watching. For more videos like these including how to play and playthroughs, come visit The Cardboard Stacker on YouTube and at our website, thecardboardstacker.com. Thanks again and as always, I'm here to remind you to keep on stacking games.